guys so this video has been brought to you in collaborations with nurses.co.uk if you'd like to know more about them make sure you check out the link in my bio to their website basically if you're a third year nursing student or you are a qualified nurse seeking to change you know your career or just advancing your career make sure you check out their website they've got um, different advice to give they've got blogs they've got different um, job applications that you can actually apply for all you need to do is to upload your CV so that you can be recruited click the link below when nurse is the call that you click the link so what initially drew me to pursue a nursing career was the fact that um, I'd studied certain subjects in sixth form and also getting an experience in healthcare. When I was in sixth form, I had to switch my subjects in my second year because I didn't do too well in my first year and I also had to look at the possibilities you know, of pursuing this degree because in my first year I genuinely didn't know what I wanted to do actually. I wanted to study psychology but when I got into second year of psychology I did not like it, like it was just not for me, I just was not interested in pursuing it anymore. So the nearest to it was nursing and not because it was just nursing, I actually wanted to pursue mental health nursing because that had some psychological side to it i think in fact it didn't just have some mental health nursing has a lot of you know psychology involved in it so i thought okay that's what i'm gonna do if i don't study psychology i'm gonna study mental health nursing that's actually what i wanted to do but you know things don't go as planned so my first time of applying for my nursing degree i did not pass i didn't pass all my interviews i just literally bonked everything i felt everything that i would say that was literally what initially drew me to my nursing career then when I decided to pursue it for the second time, I chose adult nursing because I thought I would have more options. I wouldn't be so closed off to just one section of the nursing career. So um, yeah, I started doing health and social care um, in my second year of sixth form. Yeah, I started doing health and social care. So I sort of started getting you know very acquainted with like some terminologies, things that happen in a healthcare setting applying to become a, a healthcare assistant. Now before I came to uni, I decided to take a gap year simply because as I've said, I didn't do too well in all my mental health nursing um, ambition. That just didn't work. So I just thought, you know what, let me take time to see what it takes to be an adult, um, adult nurse. Whilst I was doing this, I was applying to other universities as well, you know, to gain my degree. So I did this um, and to be fair, I worked it's an agency, so I worked with a care home, working with elderly patients. That really changed my mind, like, I don't know what it is, I just really like elderly patients. Like, I know some people might be like, oh no, they're this, they're that. Like, I just, I just, I don't know what it is, it just brought me so much joy to make sure that they're okay, they're fine, and that they are, you know, they are well in, in every aspect, holistically speaking. Another reason I really wanted to pursue a nursing career was obviously the reward like nursing is very rewarding and you have so much opportunities it doesn't limit you to anything especially when you study adult nursing you're not limited to what you can do you can always further develop or move on to other roles in in nursing it's widely accepted in every continent there's always going to be a need for a nurse everywhere so i think i found that very rewarding and i like to be flexible i like to you know get into different things i'm quite artistic as well so in that light i, I sort of thought okay yeah do you know what nursing might be difficult to go into but it is doable and the reward is amazing and i'm just not only speaking about rewards in terms of money and what you get as a salary i'm speaking about just like as a career in, in general especially being young i do believe that i have a lot to learn and i have like my years ahead of me like i can really do a lot so that in itself just really really just did it for me the hours were a bit lengthy and it was it was sort of different but the thing about me is that i'm quite open to new things and i was quite enthusiastic and that's what i keep saying you need to be enthusiastic you need to be open-minded if you're so closed off and close-minded you're not going to be able to fully achieve your potential in whatever you endeavor to do like being a healthcare assistant and being a nurse are completely different things however you can still learn a lot so i thought okay if this is how it's going to be since they're quite similar 
fine I can do nursing and like lo and behold I got into um, the university of my choice I actually got into you to both of my choices for university the second time that I applied and that was it my first steps in trying to pursue this career was to study the right subjects I think if I had known or if I realized that I wanted to really study nursing before I went into sixth form I would have chosen the right subjects I would have chosen certain subjects but as I stated before in my second year I had to choose the right subjects so that I could further go into it and so that I could be able to attain the grades that I needed to even enter the university of my choice. And then after that, start to apply for the university. So you do your personal statement, you get accepted to university, you start to do your exams and you know, you get your predicted grades. When you get your predicted grades, the universities can actually offer you a place. The exam comes and goes and then it's result day and you're you're chosen so that's all I had to do to be able to step into my career path in nursing my first step as well was to get that experience in healthcare so that's that helped me fair enough I didn't work in a hospital I just worked in a healthcare setting that can do a lot for you I just want to say like any experience in any health sector is good so even before I finished my first year of sixth form I had work experience in in a pharmacy so that helps, like every little thing helps. If it's that you're spending one day in a healthcare setting, that helps. Just get as much experience as you love to. So when it comes to my expectations versus reality, before I studied nursing, you know, everyone or people who were studying nursing already were like, oh, and you're not, are you sure you want to go into nursing? Because like, like, are you sure? Because you're very artistic and you're this and you're that. Are you really sure you want to go into nursing? Because let me not lie to you, it's very difficult, blah, 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 blah. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't like they were discouraging me. They were just speaking to me about the realities of nursing and am I ready to really give my all? Am I ready to really buckle down and just literally get this degree done? And I think I was so happy that people gave me this warning and people tried to caution me before going into it because that made me adjust to the degree itself as well as doing or already working in healthcare was good it was good for me because i knew i was going to be on placement three days a week for 11.5 hours around 11.5 to 12 hours a day so that in itself helped me it prepared me when it comes to the degree whew, it is different it is so different because as I stated in my last video, please check it out. You're not like every other student. So where I'm so used to just doing things as I'd like to, I cannot because this is a professional degree. So the degree itself sort of controls your life. Everything you do, con it, just, it just controls your life. And I don't mean to state this in a negative way, but it's just a different degree. You know, my social life, that changed. This degree changed everything and i wouldn't necessarily say it was a negative thing or it's a negative change because i do believe that one thing that's always going to be constant in this life and in this world is change but it's just good to adapt and if anything nursing has taught me a lot of things like taking responsibility you know being very time conscious it's helped me to develop a lot of my skills so it hasn't been bad so far say that my expectations and my reality are very far off each other with this degree because of that gap here that I took I sort of knew what I was getting into and because I'd already been in um, in full-time education with sixth one I was used to routine being in a routine I have to say yeah that I struggled with those 9 a.m.s like and I genuinely thought that and I'm not gonna lie it's not like I don't get supported in my university I do get supported in my university but the support is different like you're being spoon fed when you're in sixth form when you come to uni you're gonna have to use your brains as well yeah yeah like you're, you can't just go and just ask for help and expect for people to help you do your work what's that you're gonna have to read like my lecturers always say you are not playing for a degree you're not here to pose for a degree you are studying for a degree <laughs> so that bit was challenging having to go to lectures at 9 a.m. to 5 
that was that i thought that when i finished sixth form that was it that was the end of it i didn't have to look back you know i was always going to be chilling relaxing not really of a partyish person so that that really i can ignore that but i really thought my life was really my own i thought you know i could do whatever i wanted to do and this degree is like no 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 i thought okay that if i didn't go to my lectures i'll get left alone what's that no i get emails saying anyone why do you come? This is part of the university's policy. You have to come to lectures. And I'm like, why me? Why? Why? I thought I was free. Um, let's also see. In terms of placement, expectations versus reality is the same thing. Like, it's not really that different for me. Another expectation versus reality bit or thing for me was um you know do my assignments and thinking that if i didn't work so hard i was going to just pass you know or thinking that oh if i didn't read for the same thing i just need to pass i'm like it's just so easy no you know just not lie to you no 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 i thought i could really do deadlines if i could do one week before i did my assignment no and the thing is it actually affects your grade i used to think that okay it's cool i can get past this you know i can no you cannot you cannot that's what distinguishes you from being an a-class student from um, an average student i was stuck in average first year and this second year i've tried you know not to be an average but i'm still working on that everyone says this get your degree and do whatever you want after get your degree i'll just say three years of nursing is a sacrifice a sacrifice that you have to make um i just feel like it's so important for everyone who's going to this career to really think about it and also to ask a lot of people before going into it um, because it's not easy you have to balance your social life your your personal life your mental health like just a lot but what can i say I've enjoyed it so far. It's not been easy. It really has not been easy. I always doubt myself. I don't always think why. But it's doable. It really is doable. I feel like when you are not studying this degree, it is easier said than done. You always think you know, you always think you're going to do this and you think you're going to do that. No. In reality, when you're in the degree, it's so different. I think it's a 50-50 type of answer for me. I can't state whether I still like it or I still love it because of certain things. Okay, actually, not going to lie. With the rewarding career bit, I love it. I like elderly patients. I still love them. Yeah. I think then it's not 50-50. It's, it's actually a 10%. Not 10%. <laughs> what am i saying i would say that my expectations versus reality um isn't shattered it's exactly or so sort of close to what i thought it would be like anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video do me a favor and like don't forget don't forget don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel to get more content from nurses.co.uk um, I shall see you later. Bye.